If you haven't had blood chung, you haven't been to Darwin. Just in time too, this is coming to a boil. The ingredients I put in is a dice up onion, goose giblets, heart from goose, um, and then ginger, garlic, chilies. I use 100 chilies in this batch, put them in the blender, blend them up, add them all into the oil and onion, and then while that's all coming to a boil, then I'll add shrimp paste. This is where the flies will gather around, everybody clears the house, there's no one here except you alone in, in the kitchen. Even the neighbours, what's that smell? You see them poking their head out. Chuck some, some sugar in there and it puts a, a taste where it burns, but you just want to keep eating more. Then I'll add a little bit of soy sauce as well in the dish, just to bring that colour and texture to it. Uh, but there's one, one ingredient that, um, that I have uh, failed to mention and that just adds a, a different taste to it. Good chef never gives away his full recipe, so that's the one thing that I don't let you know that I'll put in. And then bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about an hour or two, and then when it's all done, I'll cool it, and then I'll bottle it. If we have a barbecue, the blood chung is always on the table. If you go to a wedding in Darwin, there'll be blood chung there. <laughs> Someone will sneak it in. I think it's just part of the, the multicultural side of Darwin and, and the top end of, it, of Australia. You'll have a taste and you'll, um, you'll want more.